Hey Thrive family, I want to update you on some decisions we're making as a church community in light of the recent COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic that's spreading around the world. I know a lot of you are afraid and nervous and unsure and just kind of want to know what's going on, what should we do? And so I want to update you on where we're at as a church. Uh, just recently, the school district decided that there would be no extra events or gatherings on school property. And so normally we meet at Mayberry Elementary every Sunday, but going forward for the time being, that's not going to be an option. And so we've decided to shift gears and find a way that in a healthy, safe way, we can still continue to engage one another as the family of God. One of the ways that we're doing that is we're making an online church streaming platform available. And so this Sunday at 10 a.m., we're gonna have a church service and we're gonna to gather together for worship online and in homes uh, with our groups and with our teams. And so when you go to thrivelachurch.com, you're gonna find a link to our online platform where our sermon is gonna start at 10 a.m. and there's gonna be a chat feature where you can connect with people who are encouraging with your small groups, with your friends. Have a watch party, put it on the TV, put it on your laptop, sit around. We'll have discussion questions for reflection that you can talk about with your friends. And uh, we can still continue to be the church. And so for the time being, for the, at least the next couple Sundays, that's gonna be our plan. We will keep you updated as the situation evolve if things change. Uh, but church is more than Sunday. We're, we're not just a place, we're a people. And it's about being the church, not just going to church or watching a church service. And so the real emphasis we wanna have is to ask the question, how can we love one another? There are individuals in our community who have real health concerns. We have parents with kids and they're wondering, how am I gonna get them childcare? And people who are gonna be out of work who are struggling to pay their bills. And so we wanna make sure that in this time, we're really there for one another as the church. And so whether that's connecting somebody to our grocery ministry, or whether that's uh, offering to help babysit, or whether that's running errands for somebody who really needs to stay at, at home while they're sick or while they're quarantined, I want to encourage you to reach out to your friends, to your groups, to your teams, and say, how can I be God's love to you during this time? And let's serve one another, and not just one another within the family of God, but in our whole community, our neighbors, our family, our co-workers. Now's the time to be the church. Jesus is the hope of the world. We know that this won't be the end of the story, but there are tough things, and it's in that time where it's our responsibility to prayerfully bring the kingdom of God into our neighborhood. So I hope that you join us in our online service or for a watch party this Sunday. Uh, but even more than that, I want to encourage you to be the church this week. Let's stay connected. Let's stay serving God. See you soon.